Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. Uh, we're going to get into the December 31st fight, the, the, the legendary New Year's Eve fight in Japan uh, between Kaz Ioka, who we're all very familiar with, uh, who's coming off his win over Josh Franco, against Jasper Fares. Uh And Fares is from uh, Venezuela. Um, not super familiar with him. Uh, apparently he fought, um, Dalekian, a time Dalekian, uh, back in 2020, uh, lost wide, did not look good in that fight. Um, it's really the only fight of note that he has, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe, follow the boxing book in all forms, social media, 3D boxing, 3D boxing blog. Uh, also subscribe to our other channel, Texas boxing scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel get to autism research and recovery. Uh, we don't gamble, but if you do, I'm going to show you how to consistently make money on, on this, on betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers of bookies don't know what they're doing, uh, but I do. And I'm going to show you exactly, uh, how to make money on this sport. Um, Oh, I messed up on something real quick. Hang on real quick. All right. Um, and you also, we use DraftKings for everything. I'm going to show you DraftKings. That's the book that we use. I think it's super friendly, user-friendly to use, and I, I think it gives pretty fair odds. Um, I like the odds that they give, so we're going to use DraftKings. Um, okay, so let's – I'm just all over the place today. All right. I'm going to get into this. Um, I can't even think today. It's super late. It's it, it's 1 o'clock in the morning where I'm at. Um, all right, Kaz Ioka is a, a, a pretty good favorite in this fight. He's going to win this fight. I, I've gone back. I've watched two uh, Barazes fights. I watched the fight with Delican, and I watched uh, – who was the other fight with? It was a uh, recent fight. Uh Farfan, um, he didn't really look good in either one. He won the Venezuelan super flyweight title in that fight. So make what you want of that. Um, you know, Kaz Ioka is, is a legend. He's going to be a Hall of Famer. He's selective with his shots. He's, he's accurate. Um, you know, the, the Franco fight, he's getting a lot of credit for. I've seen him pop up on some pound for pound list and, and things like that. Franco was checked out of that fight. Franco missed weight. Franco didn't want to be there. Franco wanted to retire. They kind of made him take the fight. It was a pretty good payday uh, for the small weight classes in that fight, too. So so he took it. Um, I wouldn't put too much stock into that. You know, I thought Franco beat him up pretty good the first fight. I, I think that's more where Ioka is. Now, he's going to win this fight. I, I don't need to tip my hand. Clearly, he's going to win this fight. Um, you know, he's a good counter puncher. He's neat. He's clean. He stays tight. Um, he, he times really well. He Ioka throws in between your shots really, really well. He times your shots and, and, and throws in between your shots exceptionally well. Um, he doesn't have a high work rate. You know, he's got rather a low work rate, but he's very accurate and selective with his shots. Uh, he punches in between your punches. Um, he doesn't wait for you to, he's good. He's, he's, he's good. Uh, he closes distance really well. His footwork is phenomenal. Um, he's got really, really great feet. Um, you know, but what I don't like is, you know, he doesn't have enough head movement. He gets hit a lot. He's, when we saw this with, with both fights in Franco, even the fight that he, he won, he, he got hit, hit quite a bit. I think he has sneaky good power. And I, I think this fight is going to look like the, um, uh, Wow, I can't even think no more. Um, the Ashton Palik Day fight. That's what I was trying to get. The Ash, I think this fight's going to look similar to the Palik Day fight, but easier. Uh, Palik Day was giving him work. Um, you know, I thought Palik Day might have been winning that fight. I know the, the cards were fairly close. I think Ioka was up, but Palik Day was doing good work. Um, and he was giving him trouble. And then, you know, eventually Ioka got to. He worked his way on the inside and clobbered him. Um, I, I think we're going to see that, but we're a quicker version of it. I, I don't think, you know, I, I think he's going to suffer the same fate as Plick Day, but he's going to, it's going to happen quickly. He's not going to do as well as Plick Day did. Um, you know, I hope he's a good combination puncher. You know, he's very accurate, lands clean, I, and I think he's got sneaky power. So I think he gets a stoppage. Um, as far as, 
Jesper uh, Perez, um, he's not that good. He, he's got three losses. He's been stopped once. Uh, he, he doesn't have any real wins uh, of note. Most of his fights have been in Colombia and uh, Venezuela. Um, he lost once early in his career. Um, a couple fights in. He really, I mean, I don't know how he got this fight. He's straight up and down. It seems like he's got good pop. He throws hard. Like, that's the one thing that's going to be obvious from him is, is he's straight up and down. You know, he's got decent athleticism, but his footwork's a mess, right? Like, he's constantly off balance, falling over himself. Um, yeah, I just think he walks into a lot. Um, you know, he's bouncing on his feet. You know, he's up, down, bouncing, kind of Terry Norris-like. Uh, not, not that he's got any skills like Terry Norris. Just, you know, uh, he, he doesn't. Um, he's a bit wild. He lunges in. He's sloppy, uh, but he's a hitter. You know, he, he uses his jab to, to, to measure, right? Like he's just, I don't think he's going to be competitive. He seems to have a good chin. He takes a good shot. Um, there's too much one punch at a time. He's not really a combination puncher. He's not a high volume puncher and he's so wide open to be tagged. Um, I just think he's going to be completely out of his league. Like I said, he stepped up once. Against Delakian, it didn't go well at all. Um, you know, I watched this recent fight. He didn't really seem to be improved. It just seems like he's fighting lesser fighters. Now he's fighting a greater fighter. I, I just don't see this going well for him. Um, you know, he, he's got to win by knockout. He's not going to win on points. He's not busy. He's not a good boxer. He's not going to win rounds. And, you know, he's, he, so he's got to knock Ioka out. And he, he got the power to do it. Just, I don't think he has the skill set to realistically win anything that's going to seriously hurt Ioka. So, uh, you know, I, I think Ioka wins. And, again, he's so wide open to hit. And Ioka is so accurate. And, and, and a combination puncher, when he does fire, he's going to get stopped. Let's look at the odds. Um, you know, I've showed you my hand. Um, let's look at the odds here. <clears throat> All right. So, Ioka minus 1,800. We're going to make that a two times bet. Uh, I, I'll bet. That would be two hundred dollars, and it would make you eleven, eleven. And I'm going to take I Oka. Oh, these odds are changing already by TKO or KO. I go by stoppage on a one times bet, and that's going to make us forty four, forty four. All right, uh, the, the odds you can take the rounds if you want. Yeah, the the total rounds you can take the odds on the over under. I'm going to leave that alone um, because again. He's going to win by stoppage. I would probably do under eight and a half, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it alone. And I'm just going to take Ioka by KO, TKO, DQ, and Ioka on the money line. It's going to make us 44-44, not making a killing on this fight. Uh, but this is the lock of the week. Um, it, 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 this is going to hit. You know, Ioka's going to win. He's going to stop him. Um, I, I, I think this is, you know, a lot of times, you know, last year they put Franco in with him. It was a great fight. This is not a great fight. I, I really don't see uh, Pat as offering much up. You know, it's just how many rounds can he go until he gets stopped. Um, so this is what I got. You're not making a ton off a three and all bet. You're making 44-44. You know, but we're bringing the odds down from basically 18 to 1 to if you can stop him. You know, we're bringing it down to... Still not great odds. This is not a ton of money to, to, to make in this fight, but we pick it up. Uh, we, we do make the money that we can, and 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 we parlay it into the next one. Um, you know, last week we still were up, but it was a mixed week. We didn't make as much as we wanted to because of the Joshua up, of the uh, Wilder upset, but it was still a net positive. Like I said, if, if we just stay and, and and we make all the bets I tell you to make, um, you're going to consistently make money. And uh, I'm going to show you how to consistently bring down the house. This is a great fight to make money on. Again, we're not going to make a killing on this fight. But, uh, I mean, this is a lock. I hope it's going to win and it's going to stop him. So let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media at 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Please also follow our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. at Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is December 28th, 2023. Uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay in.